Hello and welcome to the GeoRGV community. This is a very short tutorial that is not going to take more than five minutes about how to get satellite imagery that are updated every two or three days. The pixel resolution is going to be 10 by 10 meters and the sensor is going to be Sentinel-2. To do that one, we are going to use the GeoRGV community website at gscourse.online. I'm going to leave the link of this website at the video description. Then here you can press on resources, then go down and we are going to use the EO browser. Just click on the link in the EO browser, there are different options to get satellite imagery, but in this case, we are going to use just the Sentinel-2. Then to use all the functions of the EO browser, you have to sync up first. I did already and I sync in, and now I'm able to use all the uh, features from the website. Then when you are here, just look for the area you want to get the satellite imagery. Now we are in Italy and I'm going to get a satellite image of the city of Catania. Then when you have selected your area, just press the button search. And several satellite imageries is going to be loaded. I'm going to select the first one. Hey, do you know the GeoRGV community has a Facebook page? I'm going to leave the link at the video description, then you can click and follow us in this page. I'm going to be posting some content here that you are not going to see on the video tutorials in YouTube. Then leave the software and uh, load the satellite imagery. It takes a little bit of time. There is a bar progress over here. Then when the image is low added, you have to be aware that the maximum resolution that you are going to get for the image you can download it is going to be 10 by 10 meters. To get that resolution, you have to go here to the scale and go to 500 meters. Because if you live, for example, one kilometer, the resolution of the image is going to be less than 10 by 10 meters. Then also I'm going to remove the labels over here and I go to 500 meters and I'm going to select the area I want the image. I'm going to select, for example, this area over here looks good, 500 meters. Then what we have to do is go here to this option, download image. Click on here. Then here there are three different options. We are going to select analytical one. Then here, what we want, it's an image that is a geo reference. Then we are going to select the TIFF 32 bits. Then as you can see here, project resolution 20 meters by pixel. But if you change here to high resolution, you are going to see that now we have 10 meters for pixel resolution. Also, you can select for uh, geographic coordinate systems or projected coordinate systems. We want the distance in meters, then we are going to select the projected coordinate systems. And here by default, we have the true color and that's the option we want. Then just press the button download. Also here, you can change the day for the satellite imagery. In this case, it's May 12th, but if you click here, you can select at the calendar a different day. Just press the options and check where you have a satellite imagery. But for today, we are going to use this image. Then here again, go here, select this one. TIFF 32 bits, high resolution. Uh, this one is okay, 10 meters pixel, then press download. Now we can save, okay. We can go here and open the folder and I'm going to cut from here and I'm going to paste on the desk. Now I'm going to open QGIS and I'm going to show you how you can load the image. I'm going to paste the image over here. Then we are going to go here, select raster, and then select the image. Is this image open and add? 
and close and then we have an image that is already georeferenced as you can see here the coordinates but even we can change uh, the reference coordinate systems because if you go here export save as here you can change for a different coordinate systems you can select whatever you want and that's it well, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you on the next one.